Hello everybody, welcome. Today I'm gonna try the overclocked T221 connected to the Mac Mini. I know that I get 14 Hz or 20 with my usual uh, 41 Hz DG3 T221, the ViewSonic. But today I'm gonna try to take this one here and see if I get something like 24 or 25 Hz on the Mac Mini and see if the new version of macOS, this High Sierra, will allow me to make better use of the canvas, you know, because it doesn't like to drag windows through and uh, the menu bar doesn't extend, so there's a, there are a few limitations there. Well, so let's see. Before I go there, I'm just going to remove some rest of packaging material that were stuck to the monitor, that are still stuck to the monitor, so there's some styrofoam here. And now this monitor is smelling a little bit like cigarette just because I left it next to the other. But I need to, to throw that thing away. It was the worst seller in the history of sellers ever. By now we know that Dual Link DVI doesn't work on the G5. Only the PowerBook G4 that I don't have anymore. And my Mac Mini doesn't have Dual Link DVI either. So the adapter will have to go away. And it should be just a matter of pulling it out. Yeah, easy. So that's how the adapter looks like. You have uh, Dual Link DVI here. And you have the LFH60 connector here and some circuitry. It was done by a person called Zismos Economo and it's brilliant work really. Alright, so my ViewSonic came with two uh, of these DVI cables, so one goes to the monitor and then you have two single link DVIs and without the adapter I should be able to just use them. And initially I would connect only one cable to the mini, see how it behaves and then if all goes well, I'm gonna try to use the two, the HDMI port and the mini display port ports on the mini and see if I can get 24 Hertz. And if I do get 24 Hertz, I may actually even put the monitor in production and not use my Think Vision for some time. Let's see. The screen came up and instead of going at 12 Hertz or 14, I still have 13 Hertz. Oh, that's not a big improvement. I think I was getting 13 Hertz with the previous screen as well. And that is not very good for daily use. Let me try to see if I have another option here. 1920 by 2420. Yeah, it seems to get no benefit if you're not using the adapter. So maybe the overclocking is done in that adapter. But let's see, with two links, if I get 24 hertz instead of only 20. See how bad this is. Um, well, I don't get 24 hertz as I was expecting. I, got, I get only 20, so I'm not going to put the monitor to action. And if I would... I would probably use the other one, but what happens here is this, yeah, so macOS does not allow you to go across two screens for some reason and you cannot configure, or at least I don't know why, configure bo both screens as a single canvas like people used to do, you know, you have two screens, you have a very slim bezel and you can drag screens across and that behavior is already here for a while and that makes it horrible to drive monitors that use multiple inputs and I actually don't know how it goes if you have like monitors that require two display ports if macOS will let you really do the you know the proper expansion of the display um, if you have any ideas you can leave it comments uh, but if I am to use a screen then I can just use the DG3 because there is no performance improvement with this one and I will wait until I have an option to um, 
run this using Duolink DVI, then I get 24 Hz and it's perfect for working with 4K video. So yeah, in the end, I would really put the, the screen production with two cables, 20 Hz is fine enough for mouse movement, but this is just undoable. If I move the menu bar here and the icons go, it looks better, but I still cannot have windows across. It's, it's just stupid and also, I cannot activate high DPI mode, or maybe I can. No, I cannot activate high DPI modes. Oh, I can. Okay. One. Oh no, oh, that doesn't work. Oh, I need my BDs. Ah, there we go. So now we have high DPI mode, 20 Hertz, but we still cannot get anything done with this because you cannot move the windows across. Oh well. Alright, well, this goes back to the wardrobe. Um, I'm probably keeping the screen for later. Thanks for watching and see you next time.